In the plains of northern India lies the Kiola Deo Ghana National Park, also known as Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary. A dynamic, yet fragile ecosystem. A man-made park, it is a tiny 29 square kilometer area that shelters over 375 species of birds and several other wild creatures. Every winter, migratory birds travel here from across the world. The cackling calls and the mist give it an aura, unique to Bharatpur. The monsoon kicks off the magic. When it rains, Bharatpur transforms into a rich marshland and its lakes brim with fresh water. Pockets of the park turn into busy breeding colonies. Herons, storks, egrets, cormorants, spoonbills and ibis build nests and raise their young. Before the 18th century, Bharatpur witnessed floods every year. To avoid the deluge, Maharaja Surajmal, one of the rulers of Rajasthan, built the Ajahn Dam. The dam diverted water into a natural depression that gave birth to a small yet flourishing wetland, which later became the Bharatpur Birth Sanctuary. Initially, the sanctuary was used by the Maharaja as a duck hunting ground to entertain British officers and the royals. Thousands of ducks were hunted in a single day. After India's independence, the fate of this wetland turned. Over the years, forest officer Kailash Sankla and conservationist Dr. Salim Ali worked persistently to turn this bird slaughtering stadium into a safe haven for birds. The area was made a national park in 1982 and in 1985 Bharatpur was accepted as a World Heritage Site. However, from the late 20th century, Bharatpur started facing an acute shortage of water. Irregular monsoons and construction of dams on connected rivers led to droughts. Bharatpur was the only wintering home in the Indian subcontinent for the Siberian crane. But shortage of water and poaching along its migration route put a stop to the visits. The last pair was seen in 2002. To compensate for the recurring droughts, new water resources were deployed between 2007 and 2012. The park requires about 550 million cubic feet of water per year, which is currently provided via a pipeline from the Chambal River. But the struggles are far from over. This fragile ecosystem needs constant and strict monitoring from the park authorities to ensure it has a required share of water. Most of the birds travel long distances to reach Bharatpur, often crossing countries and continents. As hosts, we must ensure they feel at home and continue to return year after year. The future of this park lies in our hands.